Welcome to Rain World. What is this, episode four? We're starting on the menu here because, um... I don't remember the... <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember the name. MC something really wants me to turn on the Rain World remix mod. Um... Enable. How do I... Is that it? Expedition Jolly Co-op. Uh, yeah. I guess that's what I needed to do. <laughs> Apply. Oh. Okay. And now, in theory, some things have changed. So, let's go on back into our little friend here. You know, last episode, if you guys saw, we made a little bit of progress. A lot more helpful comments, as always. You guys have been great. I've got no complaints there. Um, from uh, what was probably, you know, obvious in hindsight is we really need to be following that yellow guy. A lot of people said, but what was confusing me about that, I think, is a lot of the times, like right now, you can see he's up there in the top right, and he'll be like pointing us towards an exit. But every once in a while, he'll just start pointing us towards like other exits and stuff. He's very, um, I don't know, like he can't make up his mind, you know? But um, we need to, what we need to do is some jumpies here. Okay, make our way up there. Oh, I'm feeling like a tad bit better. If you'll notice, my voice sounds quite a bit better than it did last time at least, which is good. Should we go all the way up? If I check the map here, wow, much faster. That's one of the things that the Remix mod does, which is awesome, much faster. Um, Yeah, we've already gone right. Let's go ahead and try to do, let's try and go up this top path just for exploration purposes. Um, I did get a little bit of info about how to end the game. Um, and a lot of you guys said that you'd be cool with what oops with watching like a longer playthrough So I mean, I'm gonna keep it going as is there are a few other things that I do kind of want to play um Probably alongside this, you know, I might stagger the uploads a little bit Which I know that's not great for the people who really want to see this but There are some other things that I do want to um, play for the channel So if like the next upload after this one isn't rain world, it it's not over you guys I'm, I'm going to be coming back with more. It's just that, you know, for that time period, it will be... I'm just going to switch it up every couple episodes. Now, this guy's scaring me. I'd like him to get out of my way. I do see those, like, bomb flowers down there. Should I go down, grab one of those bomb flowers, come back up, and chuck it at his ass? I do vaguely remember those being bomb flowers, so hold on. Let's go up there. Oh, oh, hey, there's the there's the ass in question. <laughs> Thing is, okay, hold on. No, hold on. I didn't mean it. Somebody said that you could switch the hands, and I forget what he said to use, like, the grab, hold the grab button. Which is also, but that, that makes me, like, vomit, you know? Is it the... <laughs> Fuck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, we're not dead. <laughs> what happened there was he tried to eat me and he ate the bomb and it actually flung me right up where I wanted to be. I think our spear might have been exploded. Like, lost to the ages type thing. But now we're up here. Do we see any benefit to going further up? Other than to get all this food, mind you. Our little yellow guy wants us to go down there. Hold on, I think I have some, some stuff in my stomach, which I've been told now is batnip. And it makes the the little bugs come... Yeah, it does. It just works. I just hold the batnip, and they'll, like, run up on me. You guys. <laughs> I feel like the king of this world now, with all my, my ancient knowledge. Hold on, come here. Come back, friend. I want to eat you. <laughs> Watches me eat his friend, and he just, like, queues up to get in line. If only that's how it worked in real life. Not that I really eat, like, living creatures. I mean, I'm not a vegan, but I don't eat them while they're alive. Kind of reminds me, you guys know that one. I mean, I might be dumbing down a concept that's, like, super, you know, culturally important to someone or something like that. So, if so, I apologize. But I vaguely remember hearing that there's, um, like, somewhere in Japan or something, there's an octopus that the, the dish is literally, like, they eat it while it's still alive, the suckers, <laughs> and they just chew it really fast let's put this back in our stomach by the way 
I like having the bat nip stored up, but then they just, they just chew it really fast. And if you don't like eat the live octopus fast enough, you just hey, did we get like a second level of protection? No, it looks like maybe I just wasted that. But the octopus will like choke you. We've got enough food, so we might as well rest here because we did lose a day's worth of progress the other day. So I guess we get it back. This seems like a little bit of a bigger room, man. We're kind of moving up in the world. That might just be placebo, but am I getting like, you know? Like this is, I mean, it's better than like a, like a New York apartment. Probably. At least for the money. Now, up there in the top right is something that I don't quite understand. Um, the Wanderer. Oh, hey, it like names all the little things here. Where's my mouse? There we go. Continue. Again, you guys, I, I hope you can understand that there's going to be a lot of little things that I don't have a grasp on. And I, I think that is pretty much <laughs> pretty chill, but either way. So, uh, I'm going to do something that... According to a comment on one of my previous videos, very much so upset some people. I kind of just thought it was funny, but the other day I was watching, I was watching Dr. Stone. Um, I actually initially watched that show as it was airing season one. Um, if anybody's ever seen it, I love Dr. Stone because it fits into my favorite category of show, which is people being smart. I just love watching like little tricks and the, you know, getting yourself out of a tricky situation type thing, which it might sound a little bit cringy, but it's just my favorite type of content. So I was watching that. And like I said, I was watching it when it first came out. But after the end of season one, I just got to a point in my life where it was like, I don't know, can I, can I like throw, I hope that spear is still somewhere, but I got to a point in my life where I was not, um, like I just wasn't able to finish watching season two. I see a food down there i'm gonna go grab it but now me and my fiance fiance me and my fiance have started watching it again and what the hell is this i progressed through season two and now because they, they put it on netflix right and i haven't renewed my Crunchyroll subscription which i'm probably gonna have to because netflix only has up till season two and it's just the biggest cliffhanger I'm one, like, that just that stuff just gnaws at me all day. Like I said, when I'm sitting at work in the, the silence of my home. If you know, you know. I'm not going to spoil it because I really think that anybody who hasn't seen it should watch it. It's a fantastic... That guy looked like he had spears on his back or something. Was that guy going to try and spear me? Oh, hey. Uh, I don't know what just happened there. I don't know. Or did but I'm gonna run. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I get it. There we go. I escaped. Anyways, stuff like that gnaws at me, is what I was saying. I don't have enough food, do I? <laughs> we could start. Oh, and I dropped my little blue ball, which apparently is important. I like the idea of being here, but I don't want to go into hunger mode. Are we going to die? No, but where's our ball at? I mean, can I, like, spear one of these fellas here? <laughs> yeah. The answer is yes. Can't grab it. I can't grab What is this? Oh, edible. Oh, okay. Those those ones are just food. But I want it. I want this guy because I bet I can put his corpse in my house. Yeah. I want your corpse on my wall. Hey, hey, not like this. 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 Game. I just gotta go under. He he probably can't go under, right? I don't know. I feel like he definitely could have gone under, but he didn't, and that's just... That's fine by me. Oh, shit. Can I not get up there while I'm holding this? Do I not have, like, the oomph behind me? Guys. Can I eat him now? No. Come on, come on. Oh. Uh, I don't know. 
I guess we go in here. I don't want to go in here, but he probably can't come in here, right? I'd like to think. I mean, I don't know why he couldn't in terms of, like, it's just another exit. But I'm just worried that he can. Let's go back up, peek, and then quickly... Okay. <laughs> I guess we're good. I don't know where the hell he went. I want to bring that thing in here, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, shit. He can't get through that little pipe, right? Can I exit around the other way? Yeah, I guess I go around the other way and pray that that fucker doesn't get wise, you know? Hope he doesn't wise up on me and catch me before I can get through. Come on. Let's go. What the fuck is this? It's a squid. Oh, I could probably use that to, like, spray fellas. I was told that these red things are... Um, and, you know, I don't want to say it the way that it was said to me, but I was told that they're infinite food. I don't know if it's, like, infinite food, but if I could hit it with a spike, it would, um... I don't know if this is exactly one of the red plants, but apparently if you hit it with a spike, you get food. Um, I'm going to actually really quick hibernate the night away. I'm going to take the squid with me, see, just in case I need to, but I'm going to hibernate. I guess I'm just gonna throw him in the water. Maybe he'll be my maybe he'll be my buddy if I oh. Let's go. Come on. God, that's so hard to do. Like it's not. I've done it every time, but it's just so uncomfortable to do. Maybe I could have that guy looked like he was about to eat the squid, which like rest in peace, bozo. But I guess that's how it's gonna be. See, yeah, this one's tiny. This is tiny. Tiny little house. Okay, we're not all the way up there, but we're a little ways up there, so maybe once we get to the next one, we'll be pretty safe. I don't know what this little thing is. There's a skull and crossbones, or just a crossbones, which I believe is the death icon, and then we've got like a little tick-looking thing. But I guess hopefully we'll find out. Pressing down, and the pickup button will place them in your hand. On the Oh, hey, that's cool. That's what I wanted to do with that friggin' spear. It's interesting that this, like, the frequency with which it tells you these things, you know? <laughs> it feels like... I guess it is a decent spread apart. The game's really only told me, like, two or three different things that I would consider important. Um, like, it let me know that I can sleep when I'm not full, you know, and I'll go into hunger mode if I hold down. And that was last episode was the first time I was informed about that. Other than that, really not much has been conveyed in that sense, which is interesting. Hold on, I'm gonna cough... I was not lying. Eat. I've got the bat nip, but I don't feel the need to use it for this guy. I probably should use it. Hold on. Come on. Oh, fuck. Okay, whatever. Look at him. Oh, there he comes. Um. Num. Num. Okay, cool. So we're sitting pretty there. Um, and I guess I, for now... Like you guys have mentioned, I'm just going to work on exploring while having the fullest hunger bar I can. Hey. I've been here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to be leaving here. Okay, I've been here, but I think it was that little while that I was not filming. Down. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I, like, cut out a little bit because I was just kind of wandering and I... Need it to shorten it if I'm being honest with you. Uh, that's oh, that's like half the bat. I didn't need I, I, I ate the wings off. That's awful. Uh, so we've got this. We could test out the infinite food theory. Can what's it say? Can I get through there? Okay, there's so many of these little orbs. What are these little things? I'm gonna like start taking them into my house, maybe. I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do, but it's my thought currently. I was going to say, he's going to... No, he's not. I thought he was going to come through this way. Okay, can I... Fuck. Not what I wanted to do. I wanted to switch hands. Oh, fucking get out of here. 
There's another stick. I'm not like in that much of a pickle. I don't know how to do the switch hands thing, but that's okay. All right, let's head through here. Hopefully not immediately die. Yeah, that guy's gone, so we're chilling there. I'm gonna put this little white orb in my house. In one of my houses. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna not do that whatsoever. That's the opposite of what I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna think about going that direction. We're gonna go up, I guess. <laughs> Whether or not up is safe, I do not recall. Um, up is cool, because I can throw the friggin- ah! Told me I could throw the stick- Wait, maybe if I throw the bomb at it. Okay, evidently this red plant is not the infinite food source that I thought it was, but that's okay. Could be one of those red plants over there. I'm gonna take one of these, because when the guys try and eat me, I get a free- Shit. When the guys try to eat me, I get a free escape, assuming I don't fat finger it and kill myself. Shit. I'm not playing this safe. I want to kill that guy. Maybe not kill him, but I want to stun him with the, the means that I have at my disposal. So let's see if we can't do that. I just know he's there waiting for me, and it's annoying. Okay. Hey, that works. Come up, bud. Pull up. Come on. I regret it. I regret it. Okay, I scared him. Looks like he's really frightened. Ugh, shit. I, guys, I seriously have no idea. <laughs> I just know that I regret it. I don't know what I did, but I regret it. There's a pink guy right there. I see his ass go. I shouldn't be alive. I really shouldn't. I need to go. There's escape right there. Take me to a home with which I can put my little white ball. <laughs> By the way, I need to go. Okay. Oh. Okay, I felt pretty good about that that escape route. I felt pretty slick. And there's a house, and I'm full on food. Oh, thank God. Okay. I guess, I don't know. What do I do with this fucking ball? I'm throwing the ball in here. I wish the stick, I should have dropped the stick. Yeah. I don't know. Let's get ourselves up to full. Up to the survivor, whatever the hell it was called. Trying to think of like things that are cool to talk about. And all I can think about are like is like anime. And I know that's not really everybody's thing. There's like I mean, I feel like it's more of a minority now, but there's definitely a lot of people who don't have very good opinions on anime. I don't know that it is I feel like the overlap between that and people who have good opinions on um like, video games is pretty high, so I probably wouldn't have to worry about it. How do I go about this? Why is that one orange? Why is that exit orange? These things are absolutely gonna, like, murder me. Are they scared of me? What, I can't eat these? Oh, hey, I'm fucking screwed. Okay, I guess they're scared of me. What is this? Oh, it's a room. Okay, so I have to be on that karma level? No. No, I guess we're going through here. Okay, so that, that proves my theory. Um, and this is one thing that I don't think anybody had mentioned either. That we are currently superseding that karma level. That's like karma level two. We are currently on five. But because we've met level two, we can go through the door. So we just have to have had that symbol or, like, exceeded it. We don't have to exactly be at the symbol. We cannot rest in here, which is okay. Let's just move forward. I, I mean, not necessarily that we should be, like, leaving that area behind, you know. It's not like our work is done there, but those guys strike me as, like, a piranha-type thing. I don't know if these things are dangerous or not. I think they're just there to freak me out. I guess. Watch, the comments are gonna be like, I have 9,000 hours in this game and I've never not been destroyed by those. 
And I'm just over here like a Disney princess, just like singing to the fucking trees. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, they, they, they take shit from you, so they're not necessarily friend, and I bet those things are like leeches. Yeah, they're leeches. Can I get them off me? Let's just say, it's gonna be some sort of like hostile. It's like leeches or piranhas or something that I don't want to deal with exactly. Come on. Jump. <laughs> there we go. I just don't know that I want to be in the water that long, you know? I worry about the- God, they're stressing me out. I'm just- I'm not used to anything being even remotely that nice here, but... Let's try and juke out the leeches, because I feel like they'll kill me. Let's grab a weapon. Yeah, see, they're- they're stupid. I feel like we're making a good amount of progress, you guys. I'm not dying nearly as much. Or, I don't even think at all this episode. Which is cool. Is there anything down there for me? No. Other than a survival route for when I fall down here. Oh, uh, shit, 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 shit. Hey, hey. Guys, I spoke too soon about the not dying thing. <laughs> the leeches are dying because they're not in the water, right? Or are they draining my blood and I'm just going to keel? Fall off, leeches. Yeah, yeah, th they fell off hard. Okay, we're gonna go up. I feel like someone said up into the right was the general direction that I wanted to go. Scavenger merchant? <laughs> I Means he's probably not gonna like eat me whole, right? Does he? The the orbs, I bet. Guys, the orbs. <laughs> There's, there's no way that it's, that it can't be a coincidence. He definitely wants those orbs. So, I don't know. I guess I'm probably missing out on something there, but let's go down this way. Wow, crazy silent here. Those cannot be friends, right? Maybe they are friends. It says Voom right there. I'm in me mom's car. Vine, survive the apocalypse. You heard it here first. Vroom, vroom. I know it's not what that is, but whatever. I don't like this narrow passageway. Wouldn't it be like a nice change of fate if I... Oh. Oh. I was going to say, wouldn't it be like a nice change of fate if I'd just been going the exact correct direction ever... So Did, we, what, did I say that right? That seemed like it should have been... Exact correct direction. Cool. Yeah ever since last episode, because, like, we, we've just been going. All right. Off the leeches. Get off me. I just gotta jump at the right time. Yeah, I, I bet the leeches exist to drown you. They do. They drown you. Shit. Oh, we just lost so much, I think. I mean, we didn't lose any progress there, but we're gonna get thrown so far behind. This reveals information such as your food bar. The circle of the dots in the bottom left represent the time until the rain comes. That that I was told. Okay, wait, is our little white thing in here? It is. Let's make our way back to that merchant because, like, there's no way that's not what I need to do, right? How do we... Oh. Wait, are we in the... Oh, no, 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 no. This is... Yeah, you yeah, know, this is chill. This is what we need. I just gotta jump and tell the leeches to screw off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, okay, this is what we wanted. <gasps> Wait here with our orb, right? Still in hand? Where's the orb? Where's the orb? Oh, oh. No. No. <laughs> Not like this. Orb? <laughs> I guess we fell really far and dropped the orb. So first of all, let's not do that. Second, can I not keep dying? Not? Let's not start this off. Can I swim with orb? Yeah, that's not a problem. Damn it. Losing orb is what just got me killed there. I'm so frustrated. All right. Back to the merchant we go. Oh, and he gives me, like, 
a badass weapon. Is that what this is? Maybe this, like, can't get stuck? I see. This is, this is, this goes hard. Okay. Yeah, that's like a weapon, dude. Oh, I don't like how we slime our way down that. What's this yellow guy gotta say? Give us some information. Come on. I mean, I, I don't know. See, like, he's, air quotes, leading the way. But then I'm, okay, he wants me to go up there for, like, food purposes. I don't know. It just seems weird, you guys. We need to find a way to get through here without the leeches being on our jazz. Let's get our little heart canister thing back. I don't know the best way to get off the leeches, honestly. Ew. But we need to get through to there for sure. That's where our yellow guy is, too. Oh, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe we grab some leeches and we kill them off up here, right? Let's just get less leeches in the thing. Are they jumping back in? Come here. Jumping back in. I don't know, fuck it, we try it again. I actually threw the thing instead of hitting the jump button, and I think it, like, actually did exactly what I needed it to. Yeah, that was not, like, of my own volition or intelligence whatsoever, but I think I just did exactly what I needed to do. Also, these seem kind of lame. They're just, like, throwable. Oh, they turn into the bubbles? Ew. I gotta get through that, don't I? Am I gonna, like, touch that? I don't know. Whatever. The fuck was that? foe. I've still got my orb, I guess. I don't really want orb anymore. <laughs> Boys, we are cooking. I want to pop this guy. I don't know if it's going to work. Let's just go. Let's go. Come on. Um, Last episode, when I asked about that, like... That philosophical question I had about, like, God, what did I, how did I board it? The ownership of information. A lot of you had very interesting thoughts on it. One of you was, like, given some scholarly background information about, like, their field within which they studied, which I thought was kind of awesome, because it was just not what I was expecting. Hey, huh? All right. What do I do? They and them. Do we have to do, like, the ultimate juke? Oh, that would be perfect right now. Yeah. That's it. That's the juke. That, that wasn't it, by the way. Hey. Uh, screwed. Screwed up. How do I get through there? How do I even do that? I don't see that jump as being possible, you guys. Am I tripping? Hey. Can I turn this guy into, like, a couple platforms? Because I don't think that jump is possible. I'm not worried, like, about him, because I think I can just juke him out, you know? I don't know, is he friend? I, there's no way he's friend, right? Lower yourself down, I'll throw the thing. We'll see how friendly you get then. That was probably a good spot when he was, like, that low. Come up in my face, we'll see how friendly we are. It didn't like that. Oh, it didn't like that. I don't like it. I don't like it. I regret it. Let's go. Down. Okay, not good. Not- is it coming? Yep. Okay. Regrets. If we can juke this thing out now, right, we can, um... Oh, what's happened like a seizure. Is this a platform with which can be stood on? Maybe if I had a bunch of them. I don't know, guys. I gotta juke him out and get around to the other side, but I don't know how to do it. 
Hey. Maybe if we go low down here and convince him to climb up, I can give that a try. He's not following me. And these leeches are going to become a problem if I'm not quick there, too. Come on. I think I got a little too close for comfort there, I'm not going to lie. Do you see me? Yeah, I speared like two of his hands and he's having seizures now. It, in short, you know, that's like the layman's terms for what's happening there, but that seems to be what's happening. Mm. Now he's like on the... Hey, hey, that's a juke for me. That's a juke. I don't know... You know... I don't know if I want to be on the other side of this guy. Honestly, maybe I'm trapping myself in a world of pain that it just gets difficult. Like, you know... There's another one! <laughs> what the hell do I do? Does anybody... Like, I'm asking you like you could tell me. Does anybody see a way to get around this? Because I don't. Unless I could, like, do something with his corpse, you know, once I killed him, maybe make him into some sort of platform. But I think I've just screwed myself. Like, I can't... <laughs> He's got me. He's got... He's fucking got me. And now there's one on this side, too? Or is it the same one? Guys. I could have had it if I just knew how to maneuver my way through that other room. Now there's two of them. Maybe not on screen at the same time. There's, like, a, the game's doing this weird thing where it, like, insists that I have to fight one, you know? Oh, and the rain's coming. And I'm nowhere near... It... Fuck. I just gotta Hail Mary it through him, I guess. And pray I can make my way back towards something, but I, I think we're dead. That sucks. That really sucks. If I would've just saw, like, a crack or something, I bet we were so close to the next platform, you know? It just feels like what the game would be trying to say there. Also, now that the rain's coming, the water's clearer, and it doesn't seem like there's leeches anymore. Is that just, like, um a thing that I'm assuming? Or is that, like, correct? Am I getting that right? It seems like now that the rain is here, the leeches have subsided. Oh, and also I can't maybe swim for some reason? Because the water's... Oh, because the water's going up. I've just screwed myself royally, haven't I? Or do I need to take some air? Yeah, I just needed to get some air. Fuck. If only I understood better. Come on. Come on, please. I should have been paying attention to the rain meter. Come on. Hidey hole, please. I'm gonna go into hunger mode if I do make it, but... Oh, hey, not the place I wanted to go. Bad room, by the way. This probably would have been fine if it weren't for the rain. I don't think this would have been full. Damn it. We don't lose any progress in, in terms of our karma. You don't have to hold down to stay. I know that, I know. Now the game's giving me... See, I feel like I'm in baby mode now. The game keeps giving me hits. What the hell? Oh, well, you know what? Honestly, given the time we're running right about now, I guess, you guys, I might have to leave it off on a bit of a cliffhanger here. But I think in the next episode, we're going to try... Maybe I can get, like... Maybe I'd ask for, like, a tiny hint. Only on is that room get throughable. Did somebody see, like, a crack or something within which I can get through that room? Because I feel like... There's got to be something good on the other side there. The game's, like, prompting me to make progress in that direction. But I just don't know how to get through it. So if anybody saw something, you know, like, I'm not asking for a step-by-step -step or anything like that. But any little bit of information in that regard just to help me through that bit. And I think we'll be chilling. But either way...
Thank you guys for watching part four of Rain World. Um, go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and ring the notification bell for me because I super appreciate it. And it helps a lot if you want to see more content. Obviously, that's what you got to do. Um, you guys can join my community Discord if you'd like. The link's down in the description. As well as following my Instagram and my Twitch. On Twitch, I do really want to sometime soon maybe stream like Stardew Valley or something. Because I haven't played that in a long time. And I feel like it's long form. You know, it's better for streaming. So... If that's something you're interested in, let me know. And yeah, have a good day, you guys. Goodbye.